There's a little bit of a story to this one, isn't there? There is. I was nervous when I bought it. What I want to really highlight is what took place last week. All these sales from here on in, guys, are over $100. This one here, a little action figure, sold within one hour of listing it. 45% of you guys that are watching these videos have yet to hit the subscribe button. It's my goal to try and get that number down to 40%. So if you're enjoying these videos at all, it'd be amazing to get you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, but it has a massive effect on the success of this channel moving forward. And by having you a part of the community, I can promise you that I'm gonna make the most consistent uploads that I possibly can and have the quality of these videos to be the best that they can be. I look forward to having you on board. So one thing I like to do on a Sunday afternoon is just reflect on the sales that we've had come through um, for the week. We obviously sit down uh, in a sales meeting with Courtney every single Monday. So I like to prepare myself on a Sunday night with all of the information to be able to sit down and just basically give it all to her so that she's on the same page. I think that meeting that we do is really, really important. Um, so based on that, let's have a look together because we haven't really ever done that before, or at least not for a very long time. I used to do financial reviews on this channel, but I've stopped doing that for probably oh, a good three odd years, I'd say. Um, all right, so let's have a look. We have done this week $3,363, uh, which is bloody brilliant. Three, three, that is a huge number for us. Um, average sale price is probably the most exciting thing there, $47, uh, sold 71 items, basically 10 sales a day. Um, not too bad. Now, the YouTuber in me would just leave it there. I'd say, see you tomorrow. I'll take you through 10 of these best sales and you can get some information from that. But the, the realist in me and, and what I want to really highlight is what took place last week. Um, I turned the camera on to show you a good week, but if we have a look at the week last, it was, well, as you can see there, $1,712. We've literally gone from our worst week to our best week in the space of two weeks. Um, and that is, that is, that can be the life of a reseller, especially if you're doing this part-time and you lapse in your listings and you're not being consistent, you're going to see big ebbs and flows. Now for us, I can say that we fell into a shortage of listings. We didn't quite list as much as we normally would. And that's why we had a really poor week of $1,700 last week. But then this week, we got a heap of good stock come through. We're able to list it up and we're able to obviously go on to have it sell. Sales bump back up to $3,300. So my little piece of advice out of that story of two-week timeline of sales for us is to just stay level-headed. When you get a bad week, don't make that the be-all and end-all of the way that you're going to be selling on eBay long-term. It can pick back up again. And you're only a couple of good finds out in your local thrift stores, flea markets or garage sales away from getting some really good sales, healthy sales back into your store. I think one of the biggest struggles that I have personally as an eBay seller is trying to find that good quality stock. Um, if we had an abundance of great quality coming in, we would have no issues obviously going to sell it on the platform. eBay itself, once you've got a great product, is a fantastic platform to have it leave the door and find a buyer. It's just us as the seller trying to get our hands on that stock in the first place. So you really want to, as an eBay seller, if you want, you're really trying to grow this thing, you can't rely on thrift stores, you can't rely on a, a weekly trip out to the flea market. You need to find something that's a, a lot more secure, uh, a lot more ongoing and continuous, and that is ultimately through building relationships, um, meeting people, having conversations, telling people what you do. There's so many times where I speak to people and they're very secretive. Even the viewers of this channel, you know, they really get angry when I start to promote the fact that I sell on eBay. I go on national TV and I tell everybody about what, you know, how great it is to sell on eBay. Um, that's ultimately done so I can basically help myself from a sense of relationships. People know about what I do, they get in touch with me. Hey, I heard you sell video games and DVDs on eBay. I've got a bunch of stuff I don't need, would you like it? If I didn't speak my truth and told people what I did, um, those opportunities wouldn't come through. So if you wanna stay insular as an eBay seller and keep things quiet, keep all the deals to yourself, um, you're gonna battle long term because as you can see by these thrift stores raising their prices, um, you know, more competition, more people trying to do it than ever before. Um, you're gonna to need to rely on these relationships that you personally build with anybody out there in your community. Um, so f speak freely, uh, speak openly and honestly and try and get that really good quality stock because when you do get it, as you can see based on the results here that we've had this week, um, eBay itself handles the business. The item does go on to sell um, because you're buying the good quality stuff. You've just got to get your hands on it, which is always the trickiest thing. Last week at the flea market, I found these. It was a pair of James Harden basketball shoes. I paid $20 and I decided to do them as a member's giveaway. And I'm pleased to report that DD Christo 
is the winner. So well done, mate. If you want to shoot me a message on Instagram, I will get these out to you. And guys, we're going to continue to do these member giveaways. So if you want to be a part of it, link is in the description below. This is the lay of the land this Monday morning, guys. Um, hopefully the camera can grab these numbers pretty easily, but we are sitting five days before the end of May. So we've said we want to try and hit our goal of 11,000. We want to have a bit of a crack at it. And right now we're sitting on 8,548. So we need 2452. That is the golden number, Courtney. Mm -hmm. 490 every single day. Mm -hmm. And if we can achieve 490 a day, then we will hit our 11,000. So we've got a huge five days ahead. And the way we're going to do that is by continually tinkering with the store. Courtney's going to be into these shelves and she's going to be deleting things out of the store that aren't worth a lot of money. That action right there helps the store dramatically on its own. Yeah. Um, Courtney was doing that last Wednesday and we had a $600 sales day and I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't listing anything. Yeah. Um, and we're also going to be listing like crazy this week. I'm thinking about bumping things up to $600 a day worth of listing volume um, to try and bring in what is... A five hundred dollar day for us is like a really good a good day. Yeah. So to try and give ourselves a runway of five days in a row, uh huh. It'll be interesting to see whether or not we can get there, but I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, we've got some good stock to list, which is the the most pleasing aspect. But um, we're going to do top ten sales. I will say out of these top ten sales from this weekend, which was a really really good weekend, we've got ultimately about fourteen hundred dollars worth of sales. Thirty one sales are going into the mailbag today, which is well above our average. Um, but basically all 10, I think nine out of the 10 are over $50. Um, so there's some really good items in there worth some good money that it's actually gone on sell in a really quick space of time as well. Cause it's not just about revenue. Uh, it is very much also about sell through rate. So Courtney's going to do the first one. Let's have a chat. There's a little bit of a story to this one, isn't there? Matt? There is. I was nervous <laughs> when I bought it. Um, yeah. Matt came home with this the other day, a huge what is this DVD holder? Yeah. From the thrift. It has so many different TV shows in it. For $20, he brought it for. And obviously none of them have their cases as well. So we had a bunch of old stuff that we took out the covers of and put in some good listings. It only listed like five. So this one sold for 42. Is it the complete seasons? Every single episode of Home Improvement, which was an awesome TV show. I did used to watch that one. Um, you'll see here, the tag's still on it. We paid 20 for everything. Mm. Now, Home Improvement here for 42, it actually sells with its artwork for 80. Yeah, okay. So we basically sold it for half price. Basically, at the end of the day, guys, what we wanted to say is these DVDs, even without their artwork, can still go on to sell. As long as you've got a genuine disc, you'll and be right. And complete season? Yeah, complete season definitely helps yeah. as well. Number nine. Number nine, we have a really good Xbox 360 game that I picked up when I was at the flea market. Um, this was last week at the flea. It was actually right at the end of the flea. Um, I, they must have had them in their car. They mm. must have been keeping them in their car and they brought a few extras out at the end of the day. So it always pays to hang around at the flea. Um, so this one here was complete with manual. It did have some light surface scratches on the disc. This game here is actually worth about 70 or so, and I listed it for 55 because there were light surface scratches. And then somebody offered me 50 bucks. Couldn't say no. Yeah, that's good. Couldn't say no. We paid five at the flea. <coughs> mm -hmm. So five and a 50, we're going to put into a medium track post envelope. I just bought a few more. Um, you guys have seen this a million times, but for anyone new to the channel, that's what we do. Just put them into that envelope. Costs us about $6.80 nowadays. Um, but pretty good off a $5 purchase of the flea. Dragon Ball Z, we've actually sold another one, um, which we'll be picking in a moment. It won't go into the video because it was only a $20 sale, but Dragon Ball Z sells really well. Another DVD set is this one here, The Last Kingdom, season one to five. Complete, is that complete? That's complete. Um, we got a $50 sale price for that one. Matt brought this in a vlog about two weeks ago. Um, he went out thrifting by himself and brought it for five dollars. And yeah, it does list for sixty-five, but we accepted a best offer for fifty, and that will go into a small satchel. Yep, we're going a small satchel. Pretty much the same sort of scenario as the uh, Dragon Ball Z game we just had there. Yeah. Um, but this is a really good TV show. Sixty-five dollars. When we play with DVD box season sets, you can always, on average, account for about ten bucks a season. Yeah. Home Improvement was worth about eighty. The Last Kingdom here is a little over that, sixty-five. Yeah. Um, but that was a good sale price, 50 mm. bucks. I always love it when we sell stuff out of previous vlogs because I like to think that people have been watching 
Yeah. And they're like, oh, I remember when you found that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let us know if that is actually what's taking place. Or if you're just like, I've never watched your channel before. Yeah, I don't watch the vlogs. I, I don't watch the vlogs, <laughs> which is fine as well. Hopefully you start. Yeah. Um, these ones here we did find in a vlog. Um, the Sacconis or Sockonis. They're cool. As people say. They are cool and they're my size. Oh. Yeah. I actually put them on and they were a touch tight. Oh. But I didn't mind these. Yeah, I like the colours. And they're in great condition. Uh, we listed these up for $49.99 and we got it. So... <laughs> End of story. End of story. How much were they? <laughs> um, I bought these for 15 Oh. Yeah, I bought them for 15 The, the wear isn't too bad. Um, but yeah, Saucony, I love the bright colourway. I love the size, US mm. size 12. We speak about this with shoes all the time, but 15 into 50, I would say over the course of four years, has always been the turnaround on shoes. Mm. I would say that every single one of these 15 or 25 tubs of shoes has been bought for $15 on average. And I would say that our average shoe sale price is fifty dollars. So you know, you break that down into profit, and you're playing on about seventeen to eighteen dollars in profit, probably. Mm. These ones will go into a medium satchel because they're a little bit bigger. Mm. Um, so we'll flip it over like that and stuff it into a medium. But uh, yeah, shoes. Four years now, we're not going to probably get rid of them. I, I like selling them. This one here, a little action figure, sold within one hour of listing it. Um, surely everyone knows who this is: Crash Bandicoot. What a um, legend. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. We got this in a private pick off Selwyn a week ago. Yeah, just last week. And um, listed it up for 60. It says that um, it was going for about 65, but we listed it for 60 and we got a best offer at 58 within an hour of listing it. And Matt took it. So pretty, probably like one of the fastest. Yeah, lightning quick. I don't think it's undervalued though, because like Courtney said, it was a $65. Yeah. Um, and it sold for 58 in the end. So it's not too much of a drop off on price. Yeah. But international as well. Uh, yeah, internationally. Somebody in the US bought it. So an extra $20 as well helps things. Yeah. Uh, we'll put it into a box with a heavy amount of bubble wrap. Yeah, and, that will uh, probably ship for 20. I, I, yeah, yeah. I think it could be 20 to 25. So yeah. a pretty awesome little sale there in a very quick space of time. All right, we've got another PlayStation 4 sale here as well. This one's a nice one. This is Life is Strange. It's a limited edition set, so it's actually got a few little extra bells and whistles. Um, no, no bells and whistles, but it just means like there's some more stuff to it. There's some extra Some extra goodies. stuff. No, yeah. no bells and whistles. It doesn't rattle any. No, no, no. Sorry. Yeah, I think everyone would get that. They got that. Okay. Can't quite get it out here, but... Oh, God. We've got a few extras. Here we are. We've got a soundtrack. Oh, the original soundtrack, and we've also got a really cool little booklet there as well, The Art of the Art of Before the Storm, mm. plus the actual game itself. So, you That's know, always handy. You, you need that, yeah. It wouldn't be a limited edition without it, would it? No. Um, so, because of these extras, we got a really quick sell-through rate. We bought this off Selwyn um, last week in the private pick, and because it was limited edition, you get these extras, they, they generally sell a little bit quicker. Um, so we've got a $60 sale price on this one, and we're going to put it into a small satchel, um, which will cost us $8.50. So mm. I'm having a lot of trouble putting this back in, but yeah. it was a really good sale. Yeah. I do just want to take a moment to jump in and talk about today's sponsor, Flip Weekly. Every single Thursday, I get an email in my inbox from Matt. He's an eBay seller and he documents his entire journey through newsletter form and it's rapidly growing and I over the last few weeks have been really trying to promote you guys to join his newsletter because he gives off a lot of useful information that even myself after four years of selling on eBay am learning something new off his newsletter every single week. It's absolutely free to join. The website is flipweekly.com. I'm going to link it into the description below. Jump on, give him a follow and you'll learn a thing or two. I can guarantee it. Another pair of shoes. Some good ones, these ones. All these sales from here on in, guys, are over $100. Yeah. They're some big boppers. To start it off are these Nike KD12s basketball shoes. Another US Men 12, actually. Yeah, Is good size. Other ones? 12? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I actually remember when we got these. I think it was like three weeks ago. Yeah, it was. We were in a, in a thrift and we paid 15 mm -hmm. And we got a $100 sale price for these and they're going to America. So we got a $35 international postage payment as well. Wow. So $135. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's so good. Worth They'll, the revenue. Yeah, probably go for about 25. Yeah, I think it'll be about 25. But oh, yeah. look, KD, KD basketball shoes. These are the KD 12s. Cool colorway as well. Flip mm. them over and have a look at the condition of the sole. Oh, you can still see the 15 on there. Jeez, we didn't scrub that off. But anyway, $135 from a $15 purchase. How mm. good is that one? No wonder these have sold at this time of year. I know. Getting cold. It is. On the GC. You probably wouldn't wear these Not on the GC, cold. would you? No. Um, found these in a local thrift store as well. Um, the Sorel hiking boots or snow these are definitely snow boots they're not hiking boots mm. um really really high quality pair of shoes these i actually paid 60 dollars in a thrift store and it is what i'm starting to do a whole lot more of nowadays is just spend up for stuff we obviously have the chicago bulls starter jacket um we had the dry bone um, yeah. win the other day this one was a 60 dollar one as well another high purchase price mm. um we never used to do it always used to get a bit scared when we used to spend a lot of money on a certain item didn't know if it would actually turn around and sell yeah um but when you do your research and you un analyze sell through rate you realize that these things won't take too long so timely at this time of the year obviously coming into winter to have these sell we got a what was it, 120 yeah 120 dollars sale price but again a best offer off 150 dollars worth of a listing um, these actually sold in the second ebay store that we have um, they weren't out of the main store and a bit of an update on that is we've actually made now a net profit overall of about fifteen hundred dollars in that second store we've only got about 16 active listings in there still um, everything else has gone on to sell and we made a seven part video series from starting from scratch uh, and we're up to about three and a half thousand dollars in revenue in that store. Um, it's been we haven't been using it for the last maybe three or four weeks now. Mm. Um, but three and a half grand we got to in revenue. We've now with this sale here been able to net fifteen hundred in profit. Um, so it was a really successful little journey with that second store. Mm. But um, this could be one of the last sales before we might we might actually pull out all the other items and put it in. Yeah. Yeah. Keep it in the main store. Mm -hmm. But great great item here. And there's a little bit of an update on that second store. So these ones here that are actually new into this shelf um, were from Selwyn. So these are all individually listed. Um, we set a minimum of $20 or more for it to be an individual listing. So all of these were listed last week at some point. Um, but out of the leftovers from that allocation, we had this bundle here. So this is 30, I think, or 31 PS4 games that fell below $20. Um, so we actually listed it as a bulk listing for $5 per piece. So we got the full asking price of $150. And I think I listed that on um, Wednesday, just before I left. Yep, sold on Saturday. Yeah. Uh, we'll whack it into a box. Box, yeah. What a cool result, you know. You yeah. do a big private pick and you get 150 bucks off the jump with that one there. Yeah. And now we've got some great, good quality in-demand games sitting on the shelf ready to go as well. So it is 100% why we like doing the video games. And this is number one the best selling item from over the weekend we have a playstation 4 console two controllers i think there's six playstation 4 games that aren't worth a lot of money uh yeah six games there so this was if you guys remembered in last week's vlog what i picked up off facebook marketplace we were out doing some thrifting i jumped onto marketplace and i thought you know what this is a really good item here um this wasn't the entirety of the purchase it was actually a bunch of games that i have listed up individually um, but these were the games, just like Courtney had said with that last deal, I thought I'd go ahead and list these up with this console to just make the package worth even more money. Um, so there's multiple ways of breaking down a video game purchase, but that's what we chose to do with this one here. Uh, and this one sold for $218. Um, now, I did list this one up for, I think it was about 240 or so. Uh, and again, like a lot of what you've heard in this video today, best offers, best offers are a large part about how we sell things. Uh, and we did take another best offer on this. So $218, I bought it off Facebook Marketplace for $150, which pretty much after fees and posts will get us our money back. And then we've got all of those individual games on the shelf that we're going to sell for about $200. Um, so we might end up making double our money, spend $150, but profit $150 out of the deal. And a lot of it has come from this sale right here. So again, put into a box, a lot of bubble wrap, should cost us about $20 to ship off. A fantastic result. So a few of these sales from over the weekend have come from a private pick opportunity and that private pick opportunity is found through having a social media presence. It's through this YouTube channel 
that I get a lot of these opportunities present themselves. Now, it doesn't need to be YouTube for you. You might wanna start on Instagram, you might wanna to speak to the local person at the checkout of your grocery store. Whatever the case may be, my message in this video today is to please communicate what you do uh, because it will ultimately help you in the long run. A lot of the items sourced and sold in this video today was from me just speaking my truth through this camera lens. So hopefully there's a bit of motivation and advice in there for you. If you're looking for more motivation around the private pick, this video here was one that I did a few weeks ago. I found so much good stuff that it's gone on to sell well. Um, so go and check that one out and I'll see you over there.